Well, last night brought us plenty of some much needed rainfall. The Rockford Airport recording just about three quarters of an inch. Now that's the most rain that we've seen in a single, at least a single event since September 24th, almost exactly a month ago. Now it's brought us safely out of the driest October on record. So at least we're not setting that record. However, next week may set some records as we get back into some more summer like territory before rain returns again. So as we look towards this weekend, though, no rain in sight, though we have, in fact, some more fall like weather temperatures near or just above average, not too far away from average this weekend. So make sure to enjoy some fall like activities over the next few days before we turn very warm, very windy and then rainy heading into next week. So detailing that weekend forecast temperature is going to be starting off in the 30s early in the morning with a little bit of a wind chill there. There. Temperatures will be quickly climbing though into the upper 50s right on average for this time of year thanks to plenty of sunshine throughout the day. Some more clouds though do come in as we head towards the evening. Those clouds will be moving out by Sunday for yet another sunny day and we do warm up just a little bit getting up to that 60 degree mark as we head into Sunday afternoon. That's thanks to southerly winds that will be the main player as we head into next week. So this weekend looking pretty nice if you want to check out the leaves changing that are now at peak across northern Illinois. So get out there and enjoy it while it's here. But if you want to travel, you probably want to head off to the south. They're getting past peak further into Wisconsin. So areas like Starved Rock and further into central Illinois, it's just starting to get towards peak down there. So really this weekend, make sure to get out and enjoy the, the fall leaves out there because as we head into next week, those gusty winds are probably going to take a whole lot of them off the trees as we have gusts up to 40 miles per hour coming in, maybe even upwards of that as we head towards Tuesday. Also on Tuesday, could see record-breaking warmth. We'll get back into the 80s, feeling nothing like late October. And then after Tuesday, that's when we start to bring the activity once again with rain showers returning. So here's a look at that seven day forecast. Nice and calm and cool this weekend, then breezy by Monday, record warmth on Tuesday, and then rainy Wednesday into Thursday. That is Halloween. Let's cross our fingers though. Hopefully the rain can dry out by the evening for the trick or treaters, but in the most accurate 10 day forecast, we will see a chillier night for the trick or treaters though, so they may have to bundle up as we have much more seasonable temperatures on the way for the first few days of November.